Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So one of the most commonly asked questions I get specifically on my Fusion Transformation video is how much did it cost to deck out this car? Now I have a few videos on the parts that are on this car, but I've not actually gone in depth on how much things cost. So today I'm gonna to be doing a price breakdown on all the stuff I've done to this car, just in case you want to do something similar yourself. So let's get to it. Now I do want to start off with three tips that I do have that are arguably more important than the price breakdown for the car, because even though the parts are out there, this will help you save some money and possibly even make some money back. So the first thing is a lot of the parts come from eBay and it's just kind of the way that it is. The thing is, occasionally sellers will waive the shipping fee. I'm not really sure what the situation is around it. My best guess is occasionally they're low on inventory and they want to get new ones in so they're a little more motivated to get rid of the ones that they do have. I could be completely wrong, I have no idea. That's my best guess. Um, but occasionally you will actually save some money in that aspect. And I can give you an example specifically with my headlights. So these headlights cost about $600 um, just as the listing price. But some parts are not coming from the US. These headlights specifically are coming from China. And with that, the shipping for these headlights at its highest was about $300. I saved them whenever I saw that it had a free shipping option available, and that was basically what I was going for. But that's one thing that I will say, because if shipping is gonna be $300 for these, you know, that's gonna raise the price to $900 for these headlights alone. $600 is more feasible. It's still not the cheapest deal in the world, but you know, once you up that to 900, you're basically getting into that price of a custom set of headlights with the retrofit and everything. So that's one of my most important tips I'll say. I don't really know the situation around why they occasionally waive the fee again, but it does help out a lot. Second thing is that also on eBay, occasionally sellers will have a make an offer option. Now, by no means lowball them, definitely respect the seller. They do put a lot of time and effort into these parts, making them available, having the listings ready and everything. So don't lowball them, be you know nice and respectful. Um, but nonetheless, occasionally they will have that option. If anything, you can save maybe $10, $20 on a listing, especially if there are other sellers. If it's a little bit more competitive, you can get a little bit of a better deal. Now you're not gonna save too, too much money again, but you'll probably save a couple bucks. That might be you know the shipping price or just some taxes on top of it. Nonetheless, it'll help out, and I mean, it's 10 to $20 that you don't have to spend yourself. And then the last thing is gonna be a more universal in that if you're getting a complete replacement part, definitely feel free to sell your stock piece if you're comfortable having only the aftermarket part, because that is something that you'll actually be able to save some money on. There is a market for used stock pieces, um, specifically people that are rebuilding cars, maybe it's a salvage vehicle that they're just trying to put back together, sell, flip it, whatever. They need these stock parts, so there is a market for them. Granted, you're not gonna make top dollar. So those are my three tips. Now we can get into the actual pricing of the pieces. So I'll start off with the tail lights. Tail lights are probably one of my favorite pieces on the car. Um, but nonetheless, these were a listing that I found prior to them being on Amazon. There was a good few sellers, but I did find a seller who had them for sale for $310. Now this is probably the best example of using the three tips that I had in one listing because it did have the $310 uh, as a listing price, but it did have a make an offer option. So I was able to get them down to $290, you know, not a crazy big deal, but $20 nonetheless. Um, and then on top of that, I was also able to get it when it had free shipping. So I got these at the listing price of $290, and then I sold my stock tail lights for about $90. So realistically speaking, these only cost me about $200, which is a pretty solid deal for these. Uh, granted, it's not that one-to-one, -one. you do have to sell your stock pieces, but nonetheless, that was how I was able to actually make this to where it was a very inexpensive upgrade. And then from there, we have my spoiler, which was a cool 100 bucks. Um, pretty casual of a deal, just, you know, little buy it now option and comes painted and everything. So really good deal. I'm happy with it and definitely a good buy. This emblem was custom painted, so that doesn't really count. And then we get to the rear lower valance. The rear lower valance is actually very inexpensive. That only cost me $130 from FordParts.com. Um, thing about it is it is a little bit harder to get a hold of, but nonetheless, if you can get a hold of it from Ford, it's super inexpensive and mine was shipped in a day. So that really quick turnaround, really happy with that. And probably one of the cheapest pieces I have on the car that has the biggest impact. Then from there you have the exhaust tips. The exhaust tips were about $75 a pop. So you multiply that by two, you get $150 for those. Now, I've been very proud of this and I've told you guys very openly, I bought these wheels for $100. I found a listing for these wheels on OfferUp and they had been sitting for a while, so whenever I found them, I jumped on the opportunity, drove to Austin, didn't even say hi to my girlfriend, <laughs> just went to go pick them up, and that was that. And then the brakes behind them with the drilled and slotted rotors were $124.73. Now for the interior itself, I'm gonna split it into the lower half and the upper half, because one is basically stock pieces and the other is like custom work you have to do. 
Um, so the lower half of the interior, I was able to get a deal. I found a 2014 Fusion Titanium with a full black leather interior. Now, the seats do vary in price, um, but I did get this uh, driver's side bucket for $125, the passenger side for $100, and then the rear bench for $100 as well. I was actually able to sell my stock pieces um, altogether, those cost $325. I sold my stock seats, which were tan SE seats for $300. But again, not one-to-one, -one, more just a matter of selling the pieces that you have to make some of your money back. Now, next thing is the door panels. Door panels, I got a deal for. The door panels were $200 for all four, which prices them at about $50 a piece. Well, exactly $50 a piece. And that's actually a pretty good deal because door panels, whenever you're trying to buy one specifically, can cost you actually over $100, depending on the condition and where you're buying it from. But as I've always tried to tell you guys, if you can go to a junkyard to get parts, the more parts you get, the better deal you get. And that's a really good example with these door panels. And then towards the bottom, all the accent pieces were $400 total. It was a little much, a little more than I expected, but this is every piece that's tanned from the factory for the lower half of the car, A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, in black. Also, there are gonna be some variables like paint, install prices. I'm not gonna include those because those are gonna be different wherever you go. So it doesn't really do any justice to add that to the pricing because you might be able to install some of these pieces yourself. And some of these pieces I installed myself and you might not be in the position to do so. So I'm not really gonna put those in. I'm gonna put it more specifically on the parts that you can buy yourself. And now from there, we go into old parts that I actually no longer have on the car, specifically being the old grill and the old lip. Now the old grill cost me $97 and the old lip was $76. The hood decals were $18 and the sequential side markers were $29. And these headlights, these were in total about $650 for the headlights minus the RGB aspect. And then another thing I forgot to add, the tires. These are Falcon Pro G5s and they're gonna cost you about 150 bucks a pop. So I do wanna have a pause here. As of right now, we are at $2,905.73. Now the thing is, that's basically everything I've done building up to my Fusion Transformation video. So essentially, if you wanted to do everything I did to my car in that time frame to get to that point, it's gonna cost you not even $3,000, which I think is a pretty solid deal, especially considering everything that you can do and that you can actually do a little bit more custom stuff along the way. Again, there's still some odds and ends that are unaccounted for paint and install, but those are gonna vary basically everywhere you go, so I can't give you a proper number on that. But nonetheless, it's still gonna cost you about $3,000 to get the car to exactly where it was in my most popular video. Um, and that's headlights, tail lights, interior swap. Um, so to do a full interior transformation in terms of getting a full swap from tan to black or black to tan, however you wanna go about it, it's only gonna cost you about $900. And if you're getting your money back, um, say you get $300 back like I did for my seats, you know, that's $600 for the swap. Doesn't include the upper half, that's gonna be the continuation of this video because we basically have to go into the part after my Fusion Transformation video because I did wanna separate it in that sense. But nonetheless, if you're not selling anything and you're basically keeping all the pieces yourself, um, you can do it for about $900. All right, so now that we got everything leading up to the Fusion Transformation video out of the way, now we can get to the little bit more in-depth stuff. Because all the stuff prior was more just aftermarket parts and now it's more making it my own and just doing, you know, different things here and there, I guess. So going from there and basically working my way from the upper half down, uh, the Starliner kit, the kit itself was only about $80. It was a Prime Day deal, so I was able to get a good deal on that. I think it retails for a little over 100, but nonetheless, again, being opportunistic with your uh, spending. And then from there, dash cam was about 170. Um, again, dash cam, I see it as more of a necessity, uh, but also a Prime Day deal, so, you know, being opportunistic there again. And I will say the roof console was a little more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. As you know, I got a lot of the upper half pieces um, from the higher level trim MKZs. Um, so I got this one for about 130 now It's the only one that I could find in black that was functional because I did find another one But that one did not function but that this one was in full black. It was a pretty easy swap But it did have that higher price tag in 130 the Sun visor for the driver's side was $43 and then the Sun visor for the passenger side was 35 I believe and then from there you have the roof handles uh, the two in the front were both $20. Uh, the ones in the rear do have a little hook, so those were each $23. I did try to get a package deal on that, but the seller was unresponsive, so I just kind of just, you know, bought him. And he was responsive after that point, so I mean, that does kind of suck. And the dome light was $25. So next we have the actual retrofit for the headlights, which are these four Morimoto Halos. Now, each of these are 80 millimeters, and each one was $41, so that's $164 for the four of them. And they are paired with a RGBW controller, the XBT, also from Morimoto, and that was $84. And honestly, the halos are probably my favorite part on this car. Anytime I'm showing anybody the car, I always show them the halos first, the Starliner second. So, 
just so you know that it's definitely worth it. Now, I did replace my old grill with this new carbon fiber grill, and this was $293 in total, and then as well as the lip. The old lip is no longer in the car. We now have this 3D carbon lip, and it cost $384.99 ordered from CD3 Performance. And this was a gift for my girlfriend, however, so thank you for that, I appreciate that. Um, it was a delayed birthday gift, um, just because these are made to order now. However, this with the halos and the Starliner, are definitely my top three favorite pieces on this car. I feel like they just give it that really nice and modern slash custom fact that I love. So definitely loving it. Definitely really happy with this piece and definitely a great gift, honestly. And one note, these seatbelts were actually a partnership deal with Safety Restores, but nonetheless, if you do want to color swap your seatbelts, they can cost you about 75 bucks a seatbelt. I believe that's everything. I did go through the whole list of everything that I put down on for parts of the car, as well as my old videos and just kind of going through those. Um, but nonetheless, if I did miss anything, feel free to comment it down below and I'll try to see if I can find any information on it and get the numbers on that to you guys. But as for where we stand right now, we are currently at $4,107.72, which honestly, I've been getting like guesses at like $5,000, $6,000 of everything that I've done to this car. It's more just a matter of being opportunistic, um, finding those deals, and then selling the stock parts that you have and make some money back. Definitely does go a long way. Definitely really helped me out in the grand scheme of things because I wasn't planning on spending really any money on this car. Um, and you might be even be asking like, why even spend money on a car like this? Well, it's because it's my car. I enjoy it. And I tell the same thing to you guys. If you want to do something to your car, do it. It's your car, whatever makes you happy. That's great, go for it. Um, because at the end of the day, I've had a really great experience just messing with this car, you know. It's gotten me in contact with some of the coolest fusions in the nation, as well as even getting to work with some companies I've had um, been following for ages and even more than that it gave me an avenue to you guys and that experience is worth basically everything I put into this car and more. but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I have a Camaro video coming out later this week I don't know if you can see it um, way up over there and before I fully bring this video to a close I do have some shout outs I want to give uh, to the people who stayed to the end of the last video and hopefully these shout outs can help show my appreciation for you guys a little bit more personally so just going in order Troy from Michigan Mountain Mew from Ohio Alex from Kingman Arizona you got to feel really nice about the Cardinals right now on top of that Tion from Ohio Big Turtle from Kentucky Armand from St. Louis Nico from Virginia my tia Patti from Dallas Texas Brody from Utah my guy Droppy from France Chris from Georgia Justin from Virginia, Nick from Alberta, Canada, Alexander from Pennsylvania, Kevin from Massachusetts, Zach from Pennsylvania, my guy Todd from Tennessee, Jesus from Dallas, Scott from New Jersey, Penetrator from San Diego, Jason from North Dakota, and lastly, Nomad Garage from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I do appreciate all of you, and just seeing that you guys wanna spend 10, 15 minutes a week, just hang out with me on my channel, it's, it's a pretty awesome feeling, and I do not take that for granted, so thank you for that. Here's a cute picture of my dog, and I will see you in the next one.